Rob Masiello has been a partner with West Point Thoroughbreds for many years, but recently he's had success in going out on his own as an owner. We spoke with him on the highs and lows of the game that he's experienced in the last few weeks. So I was, and still am a West Point partner. I started with West Point in 2005. So I did that for a long time. And then, you know, the last few years, I've just, I'm kind of ready to, you know, I still have a wonderful relationship with West Point and it's just like, I'm ready for this challenge. And it's been, it's been a lot of fun and it's, it's a lot harder. It's a different skill set because it's a little bit more of uh, strategic thinking, which I've, I've enjoyed quite a bit. It's a keeper. Um, we actually, Tom and I actually claimed uh, her mare. Um, so this was her first fall's brilliant speed. Obviously, Tom also trained brilliant speed. Uh, and she's just a neat filly. Like she's, she's always trained well, but she's kind of gotten better and better and better the years gone on. And it's just special because it's a, you know, it's obviously Tom trained the mare, Tom trained brilliant speed. We claim the filly. So it's just the whole all in the family thing. So that definitely makes it a little bit extra special. Up to challenge, get the candy for the lead. It's a keeper, wins it here, get the candy. I bought Fire last year, uh, about this time in, in July on Wanamakers. I remember the morning of his first race, I was walking around Battery Park City where I live, and I'd really not been doing well as an owner on my own. I think I I'd looked on the Naira website and I was winning at like two or 3%, and I was just like, if this horse doesn't run well today, I'm gonna end up in the bottom of this East River <laughs> Like this is, I don't know if I can handle like another like horse that doesn't work out. Um, it was the opposite of that. He, he was so impressive when, when we got him. Um, you know, he won four or five races for me. So I'm, I'm just incredibly grateful for that. Sai is sitting chilly on fire. And she has the lead by two. Fully loaded is second, but fire is first. Fire, gate to wire in the Canterbury. You know, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, he was uh, training for the, the Troy and uh, he took, a, I think, a bad step at the eighth pole and he broke down behind. It was very difficult. Um, he was a very special horse for me. I mean, there's no question in my mind that like, you know, my stable before I owned him and after I owned him were like two different stables. It's just everything else started clicking after I bought him. He was just like a really cool, fun horse to be around. And I think it's important as an industry that we keep going with, you know, what are sort of the best practices we can do to, to, to make sure that these sort of things are really just freak accidents and not something that's systemic and, and something that we're doing. The biggest thing I, I think I want to be thought of as an owner is like, I'm just happy to be here. And like, I, I'm competitive and I want to win, but I also, I know the struggle we're all going through as owners, it's a tough game. And like, just, I like being up here and I, and I like being happy for people. You know, it sounds like kind of cliche, but especially after last year when we weren't all here together, it's just so nice to see people and, the one thing is like, be patient, right? Because it's a tough game and you can like buy horses that you think are gonna work out and sometimes they don't. It's hard as an owner for me to say that I have all the answers on 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 how to make the game as clean as possible. But I think what, what I can do as an owner is I can say to my trainers, hey look, like I'm not interested. Like I said, I was winning at 2% before I bought FIA. Like I'm not a guy that's looking to cheat to win. From my perspective, it's just, I think it's as simple as saying to my trainers, like, hey, I'm like, I'm here for you. I'm gonna support you through the, the good times and the bad times. That's always been my perspective as, a, as an owner. And I think it's important to just get that message out. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content from the TDN.